Hello, I'm Raggy Oman. This is Witness. Say the word Ayatollah and people think of fiery clerics and fatwas. That's the Western stereotype. The reality is often very different. Take Ayatollah Yusuf Sani. He has impeccable revolutionary credentials. He's a former student of Ayatollah Khomeini and runs a religious school. But he also insists that women should have equal rights, has condemned suicide bombings, and says that nuclear weapons are against Islam. He's one of only 30 Ayatollahs in Iran to have attained the status of Marja, a revered position in Shia Islam, permitting him to interpret the Quran to his followers. His liberal pronouncements have won him a huge popular following with his own call center and internet chat room. Iranian filmmaker Mazia Bahari has been granted unprecedented access to this religious superstar to bring us a day in the life of an online Ayatollah. This is Grand Ayatollah Sani, a marja, a Shia leader who interprets the teachings of Islam for his followers, a man who issues fatwas and tells those who follow him exactly what to do. Grand Ayatollah Sani's organization includes charities, schools, call centers, hotlines, and websites. As a marja, Mr. Sani is practically in charge of the lives of thousands of people. A marja should have such mental and spiritual strength that his power wouldn't drive him to commit a sin. And even if he did, he should be able to repent quickly. The other characteristic of the marja is that he shouldn't be interested in the material world and ruling over others. Grand Ayatollah Sani helps those who follow him have an up-to-date understanding of Islam. That's why Mr. Sonny tries to keep himself abreast of current affairs by starting the day reviewing the morning papers. میرم اونجا یا اینجا میشینم کارا رو انجام چند تا روزنامه میخونم دیگه یه مقدار دیگه اگه مطلب چجوری انتخاب میکنید صفحه اول رو میخونم با مطالب راجع به سیاست و تدبیر اون رو نه کدوم روزنامه ها رو چجوری انتخاب میکنید اون دیگه حالا هر روزنامه هر شد دیگه نمیتونم بگه چون میشه تریج از یه روزنامه بیا اینجا بشین مرجز یوز ایفری مینز افیلیبل تو هلپ در فالوورز Grand Ayatollah Sani has a fully staffed call center. Two of Mr. Sani's former students and current employees, Mr. Shah Mohammadi on the left and Mr. Mominian on the right, help the callers with his spiritual guidance. <laughs> People call in to seek advice about every important or even insignificant decision in their lives. It may be buying a house, taking a new job, or just a day trip to visit an aunt or an uncle. What Mr. Shah Mohammadi is doing is called estekhare. The word literally means seeking God's advice and blessing before starting a task. The procedure looks simple. A person calls in, the Holy Quran is consulted, and a few seconds later, the advice is verbalized. Other marjas offer advice on marriage and divorce, but not Mr. Sani. <laughs> But how can a verse of the Quran tell someone to take a new job or buy something? 
ریشه <تصفيق> Grand Ayatollah Sani was a pupil of Grand Ayatollah Khomeini, who was also a marja. Mr. Sani served as prosecutor general for a few years after the 1979 Islamic Revolution. But in the recent years, the Iranian government has sidelined Mr. Sani and many other independent marjas because of their open criticism of the government on a wide range of subjects. Nuclear bombs destroy heaven and earth. Why should the earth be mistreated? What is the scene of the plants, the unborn children, the environment which belongs to all humanity? Nuclear bomb destroy everything, so we are not allowed to use it even in defense of ourselves. You have to attack the enemy, not the innocent people. So using nuclear bomb, which is a blind weapon, is forbidden in Islam. Mr. Sani even argues against what many Muslims regard as an accepted form of jihad or fighting against the infidels. Suicide bombing is a crime and a sin. That too results in the killing of innocent people. Suicide bombing is against Islam, against common sense and human dignity. What Al-Qaeda and Taliban are doing is a sin. It's against basic human principles. The Grand Ayatollah's liberal ideas have made him popular among the reformists and young Iranians. These gentlemen work at the Religious Answers Hotline, where they provide clear religious advice based on Mr. Sane's teachings. At your service, sir. Mr. Sane believes that shaving your beard is not forbidden, but he believes it's better if you didn't do it and think before doing it. No, don't worry about it. When we say that shaving is not forbidden, then of course different styles of beard are allowed as well. When we say we have no problem with shaving, you naturally don't have problem with the goatee. Abortion is allowed before four months pregnancy. One has to consult a specialist, and if the pregnancy causes hardship and misery for the mother or the fetus, whether it is mental handicap or terminal illness, then abortion is allowed.
Mr. Sane believes that all human beings should be regarded as innocent till proven otherwise. The only exception are those fighting militarily against Islam. All people from whatever tribe or nation, whether they are Muslims or not, are equal. Almost 70% of the questions we receive are about marriage, divorce, marrying foreigners, and the failures of such marriages. Then, we also have many questions about indecent and immoral behavior. For example, a woman called and said she had a relationship with her brother-in-law. And now I'm pregnant with a child. Is the baby regarded my husband's child or his brother's? This kind of question puts us under a lot of stress and makes us wonder what's going on out there in the society. Grand Ayatollah Sani receives an audience in his office's reception hall every day. Everyone can come to the meeting. During the meeting, Mr. Sani answers religious questions, but also offers advice about other pressing issues of the day. Following a marja is a uniquely Shia tradition. Practicing Shia Muslims are free to choose the person they want to follow. But after selecting their marja, the followers must give him one-fifth of their disposable income, as well as one-fifth of the value of all their assets which are not necessary to their needs. This can amount to millions of dollars. The money is spent towards helping the poor and other religious causes deemed appropriate by the marja. After the meeting, Mr. Sani leaves for the main seminary in Qom, where he teaches a weekly class. Grand Ayatollah Sani's modern ideas have made him a popular teacher in the seminary. Qom is the bastion of Shia Islam in Iran. There are 40,000 clerical students in the city who receive a monthly payment from the marjas. This support is integral to the independence of Iran's clerical establishment from the government. from revolutionary prosecutor to religious agony aunt. After the break, Grand Ayatollah Sani has to come up with judgments on some challenging aspects of modern life. Mm -hmm.